What's up, you guys? It's Loser Person 2006, and we're back to do another episode review of season two of Arimo. This time it's uh, episode two, even though I just said that. <laughs> but uh, the title of this episode is called The Only Son I Trusted and Sent Off Can't Get This Hooked on Portable Be Shoujo Games and Start Sexually Harassing Me. <laughs> The title for the for this uh, episode is pretty funny. If you guys remember from last episode, they tried to pronounce it towards the end, but they were like, oh, I can't fit all that in just one take, or, you know, why? Why is it this long? So, uh... <laughs> oh, that's just too funny. So, the... So, basically, the... How this episode starts off, we start, we get... Uh, reintroduced back into ISA. ISA is um, is Kirino's best friend. They have known each other since uh, elementary school, and it's and they are like this. And the from what I watch, from what I you know feel about this character, from what I get off, I feel like ISA has this kind of love interest towards Kirino, so she cares about her really deeply. But ISA is kind of a weird character, so I don't know whether if she really is in love with her or not, so I don't really know. But uh, ISA basically asks Kyosuke for some advice, um, and it's about how Kirino has been absorbed in this new portable game that has been out, and she has not be really uh, been giving her friends the time of day, which is nothing new for Kirino, but this her friend but it's it's gotten pretty bad because she won't really I, there's this one part in the uh, the episode where ISA takes her they hang out together and ISA asks do you love me and Kirino responds yes I love you of course I do oh you know that and ISA gets a little bit freaked out or whatnot. but uh, she responds because she's basically talking to the character in the game She's like, yes, that looks good on you, blah, 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 blah. She gets all angry because she's like, instead of making that, you know, comment towards me, she's making the comment towards the game. So, with that being said, Kyosuke goes into, um, goes to Kitty, you know, to try to find out what game has she been in, absorbed in. And the game we find out, it's, um, it's a PlayStation Vita game called Love Touch. And, uh, Love Touch is basically a dating Girl dating game, and um, what she go and Kirino goes into detail saying how you can date the girls and it feels lifelike. It feels like you are actually, you know, dating this girl, and how it picks up on your voice, how you can chat with them, how you can make little comments about how the way they look and everything, and how um, she goes into detail saying how. The game syncs, syncs up with real time, like um, say it's 11:53, so it so the game and real time is synced together. So if you don't turn on the game before your date or your event is completed, then the girl will get angry with you. So it's basically having a virtual girlfriend, and. Uh, the game can also be synced to your smartphone, so you can receive text messages from the girls in the game. So, um, Kyosuke starts to ba uh, basically telling Kirino that, hey, you know, this game, you have, you know, you basically said, you know, you love your arrow games just as much as you do your friends, but, you know, you're not really giving your friends the time of day ever since this game came out. Kirino realizes that she's really been absorbed in this game. So she's like, here, Kyosuke, take this game for now, because if you don't, I'm going to keep playing this game and not talk to anybody. So Kyosuke ends up playing the game, and we see it kind of backfires on him. Because at first in the episode, he wasn't really interested in the game, but now uh, he ended up playing the game the entire night. <laughs> you see him in his room, and he's giggling and whatnot, because he's like... He's laughing because he's gotten so attached to this game. Uh, and his childhood friend walks in on him, Manami, who uh, sees, who basically gives him a weird look like, Are you okay? <laughs> and, 
and Kyosuke like lashes out on her and like oh you know blah 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 this and you know what are you doing and blah, blah, what are you in my room and Monoyuki's like you know you haven't been alright you know within the last two days or so so um you know Kyosuke starts giving smart remarks and you know starts to be a little bit of a jerk Manami is like, okay, well, you know, if you're gonna act like this, then, you know, you don't like me when I get angry. And she, Kyosu is like, ha, I'm not afraid of you. Even though he ends up, she ends up tattling him on, uh, on Ayase. Ayase just, like, she just lashes out on Kyosuke, just like, because he's really afraid of her. So, So, oh my god, I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> oh, okay. But, uh, Kyosuke basically ends up telling Ayase the reason why he's been so caught up with this game is because he basically tells her, you know, I can see why Kirino has been so caught up in this game. And he, uh, he tells her, this the game character in the game kind of looks like you, so, you know... That's probably why she's been, you know, so into it. And Ayase thinks, oh, so do you think Kirino wants to have some kind of, you know, she has some kind of love interest towards me? And Kyosuke goes into saying, I don't know, it's not my place to say, but, you know, he basically tries to get her to basically play the game to see, you know, what what's so great about it. He's basically becoming like his his own sister, but um, she it doesn't work so well because he makes kind of a very um, not cool move. He touches her, and he and she makes kind of like a like oh my god you touch me, um, and he gets bitch slapped and it's funny, but um, he he basically tells Ayase, Ayase, if you want um, Kirino to get closer to you, maybe you should, you know, get some reference from this game and, you know, try acting like this character, because if this is what Kirino likes, maybe she'll, you know, be more into you or more acceptable towards you if you acted more like this, more like her, what she plays in her video games. But, you know, <laughs> I'm just thinking about the episode. I'm sorry. Um, she tries to go along with what Kyosuke says and try some scenes uh, going back and forth while he's playing the game. She doesn't get too ha she doesn't get too happy about it because there are some things that she just won't do, and she thinks Kyosuke is using her to his advantage. She takes the game from him, goes uh, to Manami's house, and basically says he tries to sexually harass me and da 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 this, even though it wasn't true. But later on the next day, they try to both Manami and Ayase try to try to use what they learn from the game <laughs> when they played it, <laughs> and they're both Kyosuke is creeped out by it. <laughs> And Ayase tries the same thing with Kirino, and you see um, Mana, Manami as well as Kyosuke off to the side of the side of outside of their house. And Kirino's like, "Why are you acting like that?" <laughs> so she gets creeped out by the way Ayase is, and she just runs off saying, "Oh, Kirino, you're a jerk! Blah, I don't want to, you know, talk to you." <laughs> so. So th that's basically the end of the episode. Uh, I'm sorry if I, if you watched this video and you ended up spoiling yourself, but if you did watch it, I hope you got. You know, I really thought this episode was hilarious. You know, you see Kyosuke is really getting close to to his sister by liking the game she does. So um, uh, catch you guys next time for the next review. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, as you can see, always got Crunchyroll in the back. Um, uh, sign up if you don't have uh, an account. Watch it there. Uh, or watch it on Hulu Plus. Uh, watch it anywhere you can 
watch anime legally. So, um, this is Loser Prison saying deuces. Hope you got enjoyed this review. Rate, comment, subscribe. Comments down below. Tell me what you guys thought about the episode. So, see you guys.